Hi everyone, we're back. It's svgcoop.com and we're working on MA011 mini album. And we're going to be um, creating this page and this is my sample page. So we're going to have two pockets and a pullout, of course. Um, this pullout is not uh, a double opening pullout, it's just a, a regular one. And then we're going to have this page back here. And I'm still going to create, uh, I'm going to be working on creating an SVG that's going to plop in the front and it's going to be held by a magnet and it's going to hold this page together and then once you take it off this page is going to open. So I'm just going to put this aside for right now so we can work on the one that's not done yet. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Let me just get these pieces separated. So all the pieces that have score lines on them I went ahead and cut in black cardstock like I did really for uh, the entire album. Um, now you're going to have, I think it's six rectangles that are going to, or squares that are going to be the same size. And then I think, I want to say one is a little bit bigger, but let me just double check that because it might be the same size. No, it's the same. Okay, so you're going to end up cutting seven squares. So it doesn't, uh, of pattern paper. So it doesn't matter which one you decide to use for which page or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take my first one and I'm going to grab the two uh, black pieces that have the little half circle coming along the bottom. So I'm gonna put one like this and one like this way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold the first one on the score line like this. And I'm gonna put some score tape underneath here. Okay, like that. Give it a good rub. <coughs> okay, and what I want to do, I'm going to hold this up against it like this and it should line up beautifully, which it does. And then once you get it lined up, you're just going to fold that over. Then we're going to do the same with the bottom piece. So I'm going to fold this down and the square line. Okay. Put some square tape underneath. <coughs> okay. Give it a rub. Get this off. Okay. So you want to make sure that you have it so your half circles are facing each other. So I'm just going to flip that over. Line this up. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to have uh, these little magnets. These. Um, I got these from Magnets for Less, and they're super ridiculously strong, which is a good thing, except for sometimes separating them is a little a bit of a challenge. Okay, so I got two off. So what I want to do is I'm going to, before I do anything else, I'm going to take some of my tape and I'm just going <coughs> to put it on my magnet here. And I just want it to be somewhere around the middle here. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be an SVG that's going to stick to it. So if you look on the back now, I'll have a little magnet there. When I'm ready, I can glue this magnet to um, my SVG and it'll hold my page shut. So for right now, I'm just going to stick that underneath there while we're putting this together. Okay, so then you're going to have um, just basically some decorative pieces that are going to go on the inside and outside. So I'm just going to grab my glue and just start gluing them onto this page. You're going to do that for all four sides here. Okay. Okay. And get that on there like that. Angle. 
to open these up. I'm just going to put So sorry, I still cannot get rid of this nice cold that my husband shared back in July. It is now the end of September and I still have it. <laughs> okay, let's put this on here. Okay, so for now, we're just going to put this page aside. I'll give it one more little rub to come up. All right, so then why don't we do the next easy piece, which is going to be the pull-out tag. So I'm just going to glue two of the squares to the front and back. on there. Okay. And you're going to also, you're cutting two sets of this page as well, just to let you know. Um, okay. So then you're going to take another one of these squares and we're going to be gluing these pieces uh, to it. So, <coughs> so sorry. Um, okay, so what you want to do is when you cut your pattern paper and you cut these black pieces, you want to make sure that you have one that doesn't have a tab on it and one that does on each end. So what we're going to do is this one's going to go on the top and this one's going to go on the bottom. But we're going, you, if, especially if you're using pattern paper, you want to make sure you don't put it the wrong way because then your design won't be right. I actually put it on the wrong way on my first page and I had to take it apart and do it again. <laughs> so. Just, you know, lesson learned. Sometimes it's a good thing that I do some of these pages as a practice page first. Okay, so you're going to fold it like that. And then I'm going to put the square tape underneath. I just cap my glue real quick. You would think after the number of books that I've made, I don't know, some of these things that I do that are so silly, I would stop doing them, but no, not so much. Just going to double check. Okay. So I'm going to pull the tape off this side. I want my things to be going down like that. So I'm just going to get this lined up right in the corner here. I'm just going to hold these corners up and just really get that nice and tightly in there. Okay. And then we can take the tape off the other one. Okay. And then before you put the next one on, you want to glue on your pattern paper. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay, so get that on there. All right, for the next one, I'm going to fold it on the score lines, and there's three sets of score lines on this one. Now this one's going to be just a tiny bit trickier, but not really. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the score tape on the inside like we do with the other one. Like that. Go 
we get around. And we'll pull the tape off of one side for now. I'm just going to hold this up like we did before in the corner. Get that nice and tight in there. Alright. <clears throat> now, before I pin this down, I want to put some tape on the outside here. This one. So I'm not going on the inside. I'm not going on the inside like we did before. I'm going on the outside. So, <clears throat> just going to put a little piece of tape right there. Get a good rub that off. Okay, and that's just going to flip over. Okay, I'm going to turn this back over. Pull tape off. Fold that. Okay. And then we'll put the pattern paper on top. Gonna put on pause for one second because I'm missing one piece. Hold on. Okay, sorry, I was not actually missing a piece. It was me being silly. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pockets together. So you're gonna have your last two pieces. You're gonna have these two sides like this. I'm just gonna fold these on the edges. I'm gonna put some tape along the outside here. We're going to just do this the same way we did the little pockets. So I'm going to pull the tape off the top one. And I'm going to get my paper nice and lined up on the bottom here. And then I can get that attached. And I can lift up this part. Okay. So then, just going to, let's see, um, <coughs> okay, so I'm going to glue this one to this one side, I'm just going to take some tape here. I'm using tape instead of glue because, you know, this can get heavy once we start putting some photos in and if you put some photo mats in and that type of thing, I don't want it to fall apart. So just get some tape in there. Give it all a nice rub. Okay. And I actually am still using the same roll of tape. I started with like a small roll that was almost done. Um, but I'm still using that same roll that I opened a few videos ago. And I still have quite a bit left. If you see, there's still a lot left. So it's actually a good thing. All right, so you want to make sure that when you put your page down, the opening is on the right and left side of your page. So I'm just going to get that on there like this. Give that a good rub. Okay. And then I'm going to just flip it over. Some tape on the back of here. I'm just going to go right across my magnet just to help hold it in place. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just gonna get that on there like that. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these installed right into our book. So I'm gonna open my book, and I have my first tab here. I'm just gonna pull the tape right off. That. And we're going to open this up. Just going to get this around there. And squeeze it. Okay. And then we're going to go to the back. Just going to turn this a little bit so maybe it's a little easier to see. up like that. Okay, get that squeeze. And then I'm going to put the little photo mats inside here. our first one in. <clears throat> okay, so now we are done with the basic pages of our book. We still have to do the cover and add some uh, decorations, but we're on our way. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back.